Alrighty, now we start a planner tutorial about uh, GeoBasic animations. Okay, I imported a uh, um, mesh from uh, any other program. You can draw with uh, Blender if you want to, but I'm not that familiar with it. So, next thing I do is um, inserting uh, bones. I use the right mouse button to position the cursor. Uh, that's my preferences, by the way. <coughs> might be left mouse on your system, then I press spacebar and select add armature. Yeah, That is pretty much uh, just a bone. So with these uh, red, blue and green uh, arrows you can move orthogonally uh, points you selected. Yeah. So now uh, this bone looks a bit odd so <coughs> we put it right in the center of the hippo. Okay, now I press the E key for extrude and uh, extrude the selected nodes. <coughs> like that. Okay. Then I select the bone again and extrude it again. And again. That was pretty much it. Now I select uh, the object node. Select first the bone, then the mesh with shift key no the other way first the mesh then with shift key the bones press control p for parent and make parent to armature create bones <coughs> create vertex groups from the closest bones now I select the mesh uh, the bones and uh, in the buttons menu I select show the names of them. That's uh, a pretty good help. Now I select the mesh and enter the edit mode by pressing the tab key. Okay, now I can see in the button window there's um, vertex groups. I select the bone and make uh, select which means pretty much uh, sh show me which ones are uh, assigned so I press the B button for box and box out the buttons I need and add them with assign then I press the box button again this time removing the bones if you hold the shift key you can add um, boxes to boxes okay and Remove these. Checking again. Looks good. The same for all the other bones. Yeah, that's pretty much just half of it. Okay, boxing it again. Removing unnecessary bones and adding the new bones. Ah, not bones, just vertices. If you're done with all that, you can select the bones and go into the pose mode. Now see if you can rotate the bone and the mesh uh, behavior. Oh, oh, that tooth here does not look too good, you see? So I have to recheck um, the vertex groups for that bone. Okay, I click on the mesh, then vertex groups, select the bone, say show, uh oh, the teeth are yellow. So I remove all the bones, then I remove the vertices for the teeth and assign the selected. Testing again, pose mode, looking good. Now the lower jaws, good. Now I open the timeline uh, window and um, need a bit more space some more okay and that's the uh, end of the animation to say frame 5 Okay. Okay. So, 
in the bottom of the window you can see the current frame displayed. Now select the bone, go into pose mode, animate it, press the I key for inserting a uh, keyframe. You insert keyframes for selected bones, so be sure to select all the bones you moved. And select rod, lock rod, which means location and rotation. Next keyframe, just a bit of rotation. Okay, jaws up, jaws down. I key, insert, lock rod. Next animation, closing the mouse. Okay. I key insert lock rod. Next I select the mesh and press file export GL Basic DDA. Now I open the GL Basic project, name it somewhat, start typing with uh, loading the sprite which is uh, the texture of the hippo, then loading the object itself. Uh oh, typo. Then I need a infinite loop. Setting up a 3D viewport. Forty-five. <coughs> then a camera. Then um, setting the current texture to the sprite are loaded and no bump mapping and then drawing the object number zero uh, from animation zero to animation two uh, you have to subtract one because GeoBasic starts indexing on zero and uh, Blender starts indexing on one so percent and uh, full animation the percentage is pretty <laughs> easy I just use the uh, get timer all mod it with 1000 that is a value between 1 and 1000 and divided by 1000 that is a value between 0 and 1. Do not forget show screen and get ready to rumble. I had to fix the camera position a bit okay and there was a typo That's pretty much what it looks like. Thank you.